Ahoy hoy! Today would normally be a dank memes video, and I know I said last week that I would get back on schedule, but I forgot uh, about another video I wanted to do specifically today, which if you've watched the video on the day it's supposed to come out, you probably figured out why. Uh, <laughs> today, I want to talk to you about the importance of voting on the SCP Wiki. So, first of all, if you want to affect change on the SCP Wiki, and I've talked about this before, the most important thing you can do is not to talk on about it to your friends or complain on social media or spam or any of the long list of things that have no real tangible effect but make you feel better. Uh, it's to go out and actual go to the Wiki itself, register properly, and then vote on the article as up or down. If you vote up for liking it or down for not liking it. This is the easiest way for you to shape the actual content of the wiki. Do you want the content of the wiki to go in a particular direction? Fucking vote for it that way. <laughs> you can't actually change anything if you don't affect change. And you can't affect anything if you don't vote. This is incredibly important to the way the wiki functions. Now, critique is great. Critique is the uh, the fun part, I guess. Well, that's not fun for a lot of people. It's a lot of work, actually. But critique can be the fun part for some people, especially if you get a little overly harsh about it. But it doesn't actually shape the wiki the way you think. If you were able to critique literally every article that came out, then you could shape the wiki's direction, but you can't. That's impossible. There's like 10 maybe articles a day out. A lot of those are failures. Even failures help shape a direction. Um, DJ Cactus is one of the most influential authors on the SCP Wiki. And even, a f even the changes that he has pushed forward, like the uh, the containment and, uh, threat level, no, threat class of disruption class and, uh, uh, was it containment class changes that he's pushed or the new, uh, theme, which is something that I've helped, uh, push through by putting it on all of my articles. Uh, even, even with those changes being put into the SCP wiki by like one individual, it's very limited what you can accomplish on your own much less what you can accomplish if you're not writing anything at all, or you're not like him or I writing a hundred or somewhere between a hundred and 200 articles each. Even those people have more influence as voters than they do as writers. And those are, and you know, I, I say those people we're we, they, whatever terminology you want to use, some of the most influential writers on the SCP Wiki for various reasons and for various types of influence. But, as I said, if we don't vote, then literally anything goes. Now, registering for the Wiki is not easy. Obviously. And I think, to be fair and co to be completely fair and honest with you, I, I feel like the administration of the SCP Wiki probably are okay with that. Like the difficulty is frustrating on a like core level, but at the same time, like that level of frustration means that the people who really aren't committed to change or committed to putting in the work of maybe improving themselves as authors or maybe improving themselves as people, who knows. But those people don't get an opportunity to shape the Wiki's direction. And like I said, the administration's probably okay with that. So the real question you have to ask yourself is like, do you want to be important? Do you want to matter? Maybe you don't. Maybe you would maybe you're happy being completely insignificant part of the fandom. But I don't think that that is fair to you or the fandom. Like we we do this thing where we differentiate between off-site and on-site fans. When I say that, I mean me, I mean any community that rises up around the SCP Wiki. And it becomes a very us versus them sort of thing. Like, we have to uphold standards uh, despite the fact that the, the this is the prevailing notion. That the we have to uphold our high standards 
uh, to keep and keep out the riffraff, or we have to uphold our high standards against the tide of the unwashed masses, which is elitist. It's uh, exclusionary, and it's in in ways, it's also gatekeeping. It's like you're not a real fan because you're not on the SCP wiki itself, which on the one hand is absolutely and totally incorrect, but there's an easy way to solve that problem. And that's to get yourself onto the SCP wiki. Take the time, do the research. I've done two videos at this point on this topic. Take the time and do the research, find out how to register. If you run into problems, ask around, find people who will help you. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to give this consideration. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if this might not be the worst idea ever. But I might create a channel on my server specifically devoted to trying to help people register for the wiki. Might not be the worst idea in the world. So I've pushed people to vote all the time on the wiki. And, I, and maybe this will be a good idea. This is something I literally thought of as I was filming here. So this is something I'm going to give some consideration to before I actually do it. But it sounds like an, it sounds like an idea that could have some merit. And regardless... Uh, we talk all the time about how difficult it is to get on the SCP wiki because wiki.dot is fucking broken, uh, for a variety of reasons. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll create a channel. Maybe I'll create a role for people to help and just, you know, because it's a lot of work. It's not easy. I'd be asking people to put in a lot of work, but I think there's plenty of people who would volunteer to do it. I'm going to give this some thought. If you're, if you're like, you know me and you happen to watch these channels and you'd like to help with that. You have to watch my Discord anyway. You're on my Discord and you know me. You feel free to contact me and talk to me about it. N not random people, please. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, it's, this is an idea that just popped into my head and I'm like, I should do that. Anyway. Vote on the wiki if you want to cha make an actual change. And if you'd like to make actual change in the real world and you live in the United States, today, fucking vote. I, I'm not giving you any vote for this guy or vote for that guy. Just vote. Your opinions, your thoughts, how both sides are the same, so it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter unless you actually choose a side. If you... Oh, God. I hate the idea of this because I hate the idea of third-party voting. But if you're in America and if you want to affect change, vote for somebody even if you throw away your vote on a third party candidate and make make it so that it essentially means nothing because you affect no real change with it at least you're putting it out there at least you're you're working towards the day when that third party candidate can be useful I, man i really want to recommend i have very strong political opinions and i very much want to recommend something but i'm not this is going to be nonpartisan vote <laughs> you can see it in my eyes you can be, Feel it. If you want, pay any attention to my Twitter, you know exactly who I, I'm not nonpartisan over there. But here, right now, don't care who you are, don't care who you want to vote for, just vote. Participate in the American process, or else you don't matter to the politicians. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, vote. <laughs> Go down, hit the like button. Ah, 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 you vote again. Subscribe, which is its own form of voting. And then uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. Including Dr. J Redacted, Sinjariki, and Morgan. Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki have both pledged $100 and Morgan has pledged $40. I was noticing, um, there's been a, last month I didn't upload as much. So it was, uh, it was obvious that things were going to go a little, little south. My advertising revenue went down. My, uh, Patreon numbers went down a little bit, but I was surprised to see, cause I was up to 540 at one point that my Patreon numbers have dipped just a skosh below 400 as of making this video. So I very much appreciate any support you guys can give. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday for the actual Dank Memes video.